This tutorial will show you how to set up and use a Sense 3D scanner. We will be moving along very quickly, so be sure to pause the video and catch up if you need. First, search Google for 3D systems, then go to 3dsystems.com. Once there, go under the support tab and find the software page. On the software page, click the software support center icon. Scroll down and click on the Sense Scanner icon. At the bottom of this page, you will find the download for the Sense Scanner software. Download the Windows 10 64-bit software. Once it has downloaded, click on it to open. Then follow the instructions for installation. After you've clicked install, it will ask you to click finish to restart your computer and finish the installation. When you restart your computer, the Sense logo should be on your home screen. Click on the icon to open the Sense software. If you have not already plugged in your Sense scanner, plug it in now. A prompt screen should appear asking you to enter an activation code. Click Get Activation Code. It should bring you to the product activation page. Enter your email and the serial number of the device. The serial number is shown on the prompt screen on the Sense software and on the device itself. Finally, select Sense 3D Scanner under Product. The page will reload with the activation code on it and the activation code will be sent to your email. Enter the activation code onto the prompt screen in the Sense software. Click Activate Scanner. Now, the program should display what the scanner sees. You are now ready to start scanning. Let's start by scanning a bust. Select the head icon from the scan settings. Next, place the scanner about 18 inches from the subject's face. A box should appear recognizing the face and the pixels which are being picked up should be colored in. When you feel like the scanner is picking up everything you want it to, click the green scan button to the left. As you move around the subject, move the scanner up and down, making sure you're scanning all the parts you want to. Scan surfaces show up as green. It is useful for the person operating the scanner to be able to see the computer screen at all times. Be sure the subject sits very still. When the scan is complete, press the green finish button. Sense will display your scan. Click and drag to rotate around the model. Click the mouse wheel and drag to pan along the object. As you move around, you may notice some holes in the model. Click the solidify tool under the repair tab. This will fill all the holes in the model and make it a solid object. You may see some odd protrusions on the model. Click on the erase tool and select the surface you want to erase. When you are done, click apply. This will take some practice. You may need to go to the opposite side of the protrusion and erase that side to completely erase it. This is because the erase tool only erases the outside of surfaces. When you are done erasing, use the solidify tool to fill in any new holes. The erasing process is the most difficult. It takes a lot of practice and can be frustrating. Remember, you can always undo and start again. To create a flat base for the bust, Select the Trim tool and set the line to where you want to trim the model. Click Apply. Follow the same process to trim the sides of the model. Now, let's save the model and export it. When you are happy with how your model looks, click Finish. Save the file and name it. Next, click on the dots on the top left corner. Your scan should be displayed in that menu. To save the scan as an STL file, go to Finish, Export, and select STL file. Name the scan. Now, go to the files on your computer. Go to Documents, 3D Systems, Sense, and find the file you just named with the triangle icon. Clicking on it should open it up in Print 3D. Now, let's scan an arm. To begin, click New Scan. Under Scan Settings, choose Object. When the scanner is picking up all you want it to, click Scan to start scanning. Make sure to move the scanner above and below the arm to ensure that all parts are scanned. The arm you are scanning should be held out straight and must be very, very still. Click Finish when you are done with the scan. Now, you should be able to see your scan. You can move around the scan by using the methods already described in the video. 
First, go under Repair, select Solidify to make the arm into a solid object. Then, use the Erase tool to erase any abnormalities. After using the Erase tool, solidify the object to check your progress. Finally, use the Trim tool to trim the arm to the length you want it. When you are happy with the model, click Finish. Save the file as a .stl and name it. Through the files on your computer, select Documents, 3D Systems, Sense, and click on the triangle icon for the object you just named to open it in Print 3D. This has been How to Use a Sense 3D Scanner, presented by the Hands of Hope Foundation. Thanks for watching.